Hey guys, it's Taya and welcome back to my channel. Now today I have a very different video compared to what I normally do. Like normally my favorite part of filming videos is the editing. Um, I just love the whole aspect of taking a video that isn't that great and then using the editing software to make it look great. Um, but today I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be talking and basically showing you what my what my voice is actually like when I'm not um, cutting out any parts. Like sometimes I have a habit of like if I repeat a sentence because the first sentence sounded bad, I will cut out the first sentence. Now I know that you probably came here to see all my like stuttering habits and stuff. So I'm sorry about that. I mean, it's definitely not the best thing to to do, but on but honestly, whenever I'm watching my, my myself, it's very very tough to not cut out the mistakes. But today I will not not be. So this is definitely stepping out of my comfort zone, and I wanted to read a section of Self Therapy for the Stutterer by Malcolm Fraser, so that. He, you guys can kind of get a sense of what I'm like when I read. Now keep in mind that, that I am in school for early ch childhood education and in that program we do get taught a good way to read and reading techniques and stuff so I have been pr practicing reading for about a year so my reading might be kind of good but I guess we'll see. I just wanted to eat you guys to get a feel of that. Um, and this is from page 15 of the text. The importance of motivation cannot be exaggerated, and success or failure of therapy will depend on your commitment to follow through. It, it will not be easy, but it can be done. On the other hand, there is no way to, pr to promise success in this or any other program. Since since no sure cure of stuttering has yet been discovered, in spite of what you may have read. However, it, it is re okay. Um, however, it is reasonable to, to believe that if you follow the suggestions and carry out the procedures outlined in this book, you, you should be, be able to control your stuttering and speak easily without abnormality. Others have conquered their stuttering and you can too. Now this is actually my second time filming this video because the first time there was an a there was an error with the camera but the first time I read that out loud it was actually very very good and I did I didn't stutter a lot but that time I stuttered a lot m m more and I find that right now I'm feeling a lot more stressed and anxious because people just came into t t t to the house and the first time I filmed this I was alone. So I feel like my stuttering is completely driven by, 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 by anxiety. It's such a strange thing to think that my stuttering is all in my head and that it is me, kind of, who is causing the stuttering on myself. Like, if I could con control the anxiety, then, then the stutter would most likely go away. Now there is ways that I lessen the anxiety and that is to deep breathe and completely pay attention to my breathing because I feel like stuttering and blocks and repeating really have to do with your breathing. Um, so I concentrate on that a lot and then I also concentrate on the flow of the speech. So let's say there's a word at the beginning of, there's a syllable at the beginning of a word that I'm having an issue with, then I will kind of blend the end of one word and the beginning of that word together. And when we're in a block, if you didn't already know, it's basically when your, vo vo your vocal cords shut and there's no air coming through. So make, making sure that you are deep breathing and not fully paying attention to what you're saying. Uh, 
I mean, not fully p paying attention ab about the fact that you, you may s stutter is definitely a good way to lessen the stutter. Um, and I'm wondering also, what makes your stutter worse? And d d do you believe that anxiety is the sole cause of your s stutter t t t too? And if it's not, then what do you b b believe the cause of your s s stutter is? And do we all have the same cause or is it a different reason for every individual p p person? So yeah, um, I also wanted to address some, some questions that, that I get on my second ch channel. And if you haven't already looked at that, there will be a uh, link in the d description below. On that ch ch channel, I kind of just do what I'm into at the moment. And at the moment, I'm into cr 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 crime, haunted things, ghosts, paranormal. So I've been making videos about that. But a lot of people ask me why my stutter is barely noticeable on that ch channel. But on this one, it's very n noticeable. And that's b b because on that ch channel, I basically repeat m myself it until it's good. So it takes a lot of work and then I, and then I edit out all of the m mistakes. So that's basically why that ch ch channel makes it seem like I don't have a stutter, but I do. And then also because that ch channel is not me t t talking about my, my stutter, I didn't want the stutter to t take away the subject of the video. So I think that that m m makes sense. Um, so yeah, I know that this video is kind of a sh sh shorter one, but I hope that you enjoyed it, enjoyed it anyways, and if you would prefer me to make less c c c cuts and edits in my videos, then make sure to l let me know and I'll be, 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 be sure to do that. Anyways, I hope that you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.